what is going on guys welcome back to a, another video this is a build video for the uh, warden for pve for dungeons and trials and there are no skills that are needed to be used and we are hitting 68k uh, dps and that's just by holding down the heavy attack button uh, this is for the uh, latest patch of update 41 uh, so we jump straight into all the gears and details and then I'll do a bit of an explanation at the end of how it all works. Uh, so we jump straight into the gear. We're running a lightning staff of the sergeant. As before with the uh, previous saucer video, all the set is the same. So we're running a poison enchantment uh, with precise. Uh, the sergeant's mail is best in slot for heavy attack damage. Uh, we've got one piece slime core which gives you critical chance. All the body pieces are Max Magicka and Divines. Uh, we've got a, a Caress of the Sergeant in Heavy. We've got a Deadly Arm Corpse, Deadly Belt, Deadly Braces, Deadly Guards, Deadly Boots. Uh, we've got a Necklace of the Sergeant, Oaken Soul Ring, and a Ring of the Sergeant. All the jewellery is Bloodthirsty with Weapon Damage Enchantments. Um, we are running one light, uh, one heavy, and five medium. Uh, Deadly is another amazing set. It deals extra damage for damage over time and channeled attacks, which is what Lightning Staff is. Um, you can run Storm Master. I think you might lose about 1k. There's not really a lot in it, but Deadly does pull slightly ahead from what I've been testing. I will jump straight into the skills. Uh, these are just passively slotted, so we're not using any of the skills. They are just passively slotted for the extra bonus damage. So we've got Evil Hunter, Silver Shards, Inner Light, Ring of Preservation, Barb Trap, and the uh, Feral Guardian, which is the bear for the Warden skill line. Uh, so we're running one, two, three, four Fighters Guild abilities. And if we go down to the Fighters Guild, we can see we're getting a 12% uh, bonus to our weapon and spell damage for having them slotted. And we're having the Inner Light, which is slotted for an extra 5% Max Magicka. And again, slotting that, you're going to get another bonus 2% on top of having it slotted. And the Guardian is there. Um, I'll just quickly show you. Guardian is there as it's a pet that's doing constant damage. Um, we're not activating it either. And again, it will give you a bonus 4% damage for having that slotted. So all you have to do is just do heavy attacks. You don't have to do anything else. And you are nearly passing 70k. It's not as high as the Sorcerer, unfortunately. It's about uh, 68k is the best I can do. You might get slightly higher. Um, so it's a little bit less than the uh, Sorcerer, which I was expecting, because there is uh, Sorcerer has two pets active going, whereas the Warden has one, but it's still very, very good. Let's go into the Champion Points. So you want your Master at Arms, a Weapons Expert, Deadly Aim, and Backstabber. Uh, the green and red are entirely up to you. I just With the red, I'll just do Celerity for Movement Speed, as you'll be running in Dungeons and stuff, and Trials, so you might just a bit more Movement Speed. Got rejuvenation for the recovery, but recoveries are not too important with heavy attack builds. And you've got your fortify for armor and boundless vitality um, for the max health. In green, I just would recommend uh, rationer for your food to last longer. Liquid efficiency for potions if you need them. And obviously, Steve's blessing just for a bit more movement speed out of combat. Um, so we jump into the uh, stat sheet, which is 64 points into health. Um, and the Mundus is the Thief Mundus. I would recommend Bewitch Sugar Skulls. Um, you can run Max Magicka Food, um, which will give you a bit more Magicka. I think you'll probably get about 6,000. So you probably could pass probably near 70k or you know 69k, I would probably expect. But um, the Bewitch Sugar Skulls is going to be more viable in dungeons as you're going to have more. Uh, stamina to roll dodge more out of things and obviously you have more health as well which is going to um, keep you alive a bit longer um, 
so yeah that's pretty much everything uh, I don't think I've missed anything on the actual stuff so now we're going to sort of go into a more in-depth reasoning for everything as I did before on the sorcerer video um, oh, the last thing I've forgotten is I am a high elf um, that is probably the most optimal high elf or dark elf um, or orc are probably going to be the best for the weapon damage bonuses but um, again race won't matter too much it's only going to change one or two K DPS it's not going to be anything crazy so don't worry about the race too much um, I just prefer high elf or dark elf are probably the most optimal you can go Khajiit for critical damage just try and pick a damage race um, but if you're not it's not a big problem um, so we'll go into uh, all the sort of reasonings why um, so like yeah we've not really got any warden skills as such because it's just for the because we have just purely heavy attacking and there's no skills used it's better to have more weapon damage from the fighters guild and the mages guild we've got the bear we have to have the bear for the extra pet damage it automatically attacks for you so you don't have to do anything you can activate the ultimate but this is strictly just no skills or anything used apart from heavy attack um, so the sets you can get again lightning staff of the sergeant this all drops in way rest sewer so it's easily acquirable you can do it on normal um, so you can get this gear nice and easy nice and obtainable you know non DLC uh, base game dungeons that's nice and easy to get hold of um, slime crawl is a veteran uh, dungeon but again it's way rest sewers still very very simple stuff and um, easy to acquire uh, the deadly set again can be bought on guild traders or bought with alliance points again very very easy to acquire the only thing that's difficult or the most difficult i'd say is the oaken soul ring but it's definitely a go-to mythic for beginners and people that need to just do things uh, at easier level and uh, like i said people might say well why would you be running with no skills you know aren't you just being lazy well this is for people that um just want to get through content and want to enjoy the content or want to learn mechanics and don't want to have a big fuss about skills or they have maybe they have disabilities and they don't want to can't be pressing hundreds of buttons all at once and just want to do good damage and still be able to be viable in content and just in, you know enjoy the game not having to keep, keep worrying about keeping buffs up and damage up and you know it's just got that ease of access you know for people um, and also for beginners as well who are very new to passing or doing damage and they just ain't got a clue what they're doing they can simply get this gear and they don't have to worry too much about skills and they just have stuff passively slotted obviously this is com very very optimal like um, again you don't have to worry about if you have you don't have to have everything gold you can just have the weapon I prioritize um, the armor doesn't matter as much it's not going to add a lot and jewelry again if you can but again it's not going to add much i just prioritize the weapon it doesn't cost much it's just rossing eight rossing uh, not a lot of money because rossing is very cheap so nice and easy to gold that out nice and quickly in actual content um again i'm running a poison enchant on this and i'm also running the thief mundus i would recommend if, if when I say in actual content, if you are running with a viable group who have all these sufficient uh, debuffs to the bosses, because um, obviously the penny is very low on this build because it's under the impression that you are getting it from a group. So as long as people are running like a uh, major and minor breach and that, that's going to push your uh, spell penetration up. Uh, I think you do get some on the destruction line. I didn't notice. Oh, I the abilities though. Um, so, but yeah, you will, you, you're going to be missing 10, so obviously if you're not in an optimal group and you're just doing a random uh, group and you're not sure that they're going to provide you what you need, then all of the two simple things to do is I would just recommend to put a shock enchant on the actual weapon rather than poison damage and uh, just change the Mundus um, from the Thief uh, to the Lover because you'll get the extra penetration and if you do them two changes that's going to make you uh, much more viable for solo if you just want to kill world bosses and do stuff solo it's going to you know 
hit super hard and you haven't got to do any skills and um but if you are in a viable group and you think oh you know i'm with good players you're going to give me the penetration i need um and you're going to get some buffs then maybe keep the thief on and uh keep the poison enchant on because uh, ideally you do want the shock um to get the off balance um because obviously the trial dummy will provide all this for you um so um, but the poison damage will the poison damage enchant will hit harder um, rather than the shock enchant. But again, like I said, if you're not in a viable group, make sure you just make these two simple changes: change the Mundus to Lover, and change the enchantment to the shock enchantment. Um, and like I said, these are probably the best in slot for heavy attack uh, setups. Um, and like I said, this is just um, you, people can use this as an entry level. Uh, so, you know, like I said, these skills. Once people become confident, um, they want to add a little bit more flavour. So obviously, you're only hitting 68k. That's still sufficient for most veteran content. Obviously, if you're going into the LC trials or um, DLC uh, dungeons, it'd still be sufficient for that. Um, but if you're doing like hard modes or you know you're really trying to push, then obviously you m might need to step it up a little bit because obviously 70k is probably not enough for the small 5% of content in the game. Uh, but 90 to 95% of the content you can complete with this as a DPS, it's going to be fine. Um, and you can spend all your time focusing on obviously the um the dungeon or the quests <clears throat> excuse me just had to cough there um yeah you can focus on all the mechanics of the dungeon you know and focusing on supporting your teammates and keeping them alive doing and you haven't got to worry about doing any crazy stuff but when you want to take it up a notch um, and you feel like I want to add in a skill I would recommend uh, just to keep it as it is and again when the uh, bear is active uh, the ultimate you could just start hitting just do heavy attacks throughout the whole thing and just start chucking in the ultimate um, and again once you get confident with that I would probably recommend to swap um, evil hunter with say a warden ability which I would recommend one of these two as Feather Infection does a nice damage over time uh, or Subterranean Assault will provide a massive uh, I don't think I've morphed that one not sure if I've got the right one there it might be the other one because I think it provides a debuff um, but like I said just add a skill when you are becoming more confident or you could start just or even if you didn't want to chuck in a skill really you could just use the Barb Trap it's still going to hit hard so you know, when you're doing your heavy attacks, you can just start chucking in a barb trap um, between heavy attacks, or you know, so just do the ultimate between heavy attacks and just build yourself up with adding them skills. And you know, the DPS you can easily start climbing into the 80s and 90s uh, with a heavy attack one bar setup. Um, so it's still very viable. Um, and this is, like I said, this is uh, for update 41. This is on the PTS. And that's why I've got a crazy amount of money. It's not my money. Um, but yeah, you can... This is going to be all viable already for the new dungeons. It will be totally fine for doing the new veteran dungeons. Maybe not the hard modes. I'm not sure how difficult they're going to be. But um, totally, totally viable for all, all veteran dungeons. And probably all veteran trials, barring the hard modes, I would have thought. Um, but like I said, you know, just use this as a stepping stone. This is what this is a stepping stone for people that uh, really struggle with pressing buttons. It's just um, nice to have that damage is still there and keeping everything minimal. And that, that's exactly what this build is for, keeping everything nice and minimal. Um, so yeah, I think I've fully explained everything there as the in-depth detailed guide to this. So hopefully it will help beginners. And people that are struggling with uh, rotations and stuff, keeping things ultra simple whilst doing good amounts of damage and, you know, 
going into a random, people are not going to be complaining about the damage you're doing. Um, it is single target. The, the, um, they did nerf the lightning staff. I forgot to mention in my previous video. You're not going to be doing a lot of AOE damage. Um, it's going to be single target. This is primarily good damage on bosses. Um, so you, there, you do have an AOE splash. Um, but it has been nerfed. We'll just see if we can find it. Yeah, the fully charged heavy attack does, at the end of the heavy attack, you'll get, they'll then take 100% damage. So, say if you're hitting a group of mobs um, in front of you, so there's four of them, when you do the heavy attack, it's only going to hit that one one of the four mobs, but the, lot, but the channel at the end of the heavy attack will then splash onto the other one. So, you're not going to be dropping mobs as fast, but again, I don't really see that to be a massive issue. It really... The dungeons and the trials it really boils down to the bosses unless you're doing speed runs then obviously slots and aoe damage if they're you know if you're doing that sort of thing i wouldn't recommend this for speed runs it's just um getting good damage on bosses so if people say you're not doing enough aoe it's not really a massive problem because at the end of the day the bosses are the are the thing that people are really concerned about in dungeons and trials and you know world bosses and it will do a lot of single target damage which really is what the key is um, but you can all add AOE things as you go um, so yeah that was just something I did forget to mention um, but other than that I think that's pretty much fully covered I said it's nice and easy for everyone I hope it's um, you know raises the bar for people you know if people don't want to get into veteran content and they're worried you can use this build and you can focus on learning the mechanics and not having to keep worrying about have you got the right skill on or have you got the right sets on nice and simple and nice and easy so hopefully this video was helpful um, to people and to players um, I think it's really good the warden unfortunately is slightly behind the sorcerer but not by much and it's only slightly behind on a no skill setup normally when there are fully optimized on a one bar heavy attack build the sorcerer and warden are normally about the same i will be doing more tests and more guides um, for more optimized setups in the future this is just sort of like a, a, the building block as i would say and then you can start, start raising it to your own needs um, so yeah that's the end of the video guys drop it a like if it was helpful and just drop me a comment in the comments section if you've got any queries or questions or if there's anything I've missed uh, just put a comment down below and I'll get back to you um, and I've got more to come so if you want to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I've got plenty more guides and builds PvE based and PvP based I, prim I primarily do PvP but I'm also doing a lot of PvE stuff I try to keep it very varied and I also do gold guides and all sorts of stuff. Um, and if you want to go a little step further, I do have a membership where you can support me. It's not a lot of money, it's just a couple of quid. And you'll get access to uh, some of my PvP videos a little bit quicker. And uh, all sorts of other little perks and stuff if you want to go that extra step. Uh, but that's entirely up to you. Um, so that's it guys. Over and out. And I'll see you in the next video.